This is a Fluke 77BN. I believe it's the same as a Fluke 77 Series 2. Uh, as I speak here on May 1st of 2010, uh, there's a lot of these on eBay. I managed to pick up one for a good price and I thought I'd uh, uh, show us what's up with it. Okay, now this is typical fluke construction of the time. Uh, there are some uh, uh, really exclusively through-hole devices except for the microprocessor on the other side. There's only the one adjustment. Uh, that's uh, your, your only calibration adjustment at 3 volts. This is an original 1991 battery, still perfectly good. Uh, these meters were sold for the military. These models uh, uh, do tend to suffer from the fading digits problem. Uh, it's necessary to uh, undo the uh, um, the display module from the back side and clean off the connectors and so forth but once you do you get yourself a right nice little meter um, I got this one actually for forty six dollars freight included now I did not find it necessary to adjust this meter at all and you can see why uh, every step of the way with respect to my Fluke 87 it's within about a millivolt at, at worst and so I just left the adjustments alone Okay, a couple of other things about this. Um, the uh, touch hold feature is uh, a, a little slower than a, uh, my Fluke 85, a little faster than the Fluke 87. Uh, it uses a uh, uh, 4096 hertz tone, which uh, because I'm an old guy and I don't hear very well, uh, I don't always hear it. And the, uh, um, the continuity test, which also uses that same tone, um, it is a, a, a little bit slower and less certain than the uh, than the 87.